every sustaining relationship must pass the compatibility test. There must be harmonious and congenial understanding between both parties. Most marriage problems are caused by incompatibility. Some people call it irreconcilable difference. What is irreconcilable difference just means lack of flow, lack of connection. They are not connected. And that's the problem. No connection between both parties cause a lot of problems. Amos 3.3 says, can two work together? It says what? They agree. I have a connection. Sorry, I thought you did not want us to sit together, but I asked that they want to sit together this morning. But I just want to give us a paraphrase. Hallelujah. So what are we saying? You must be compatible. And the key question is this. How often do you agree in your relationship? How often do you agree? Oh, yeah, you're supposed to have a, a, a question to be given on that to look at the, the rates of your agreement together in cohesion. If most of the discussions end up in a stalemate or inconclusiveness or anger, then we have a red flag. You are discussing, you are in a relationship, you are discussing, you never complete any discussion. Even a discussion as simple as close to here, you can't conclude. There are people like that. There's no discussion you engage in that you ever conclude. And that's the problem. And if you are in a kind of relationship like that, you are not yet married, and you find that every discussion ends up in a stalemate, you just get to the middle of the bridge and you get stuck, you could not move forward, you could not move backward, that shows that there's a problem. And if you don't handle that problem now, the problem will handle you later. Let's get. I call this relationship lockdown when you cannot agree. You may patch it up, but it's not sufficient. I always advise people should make what I call a law of deliberate effort here to strike a balance. Pray is important. You must, must answer the question that wait, why can't we agree in this relationship? Why can't we agree? Why is there so much disagreement? Why is there so much disagreement? You see, praying for the will of God is very, very important. But we found that as prayer is very, very necessary and very, very important, it's not sufficient. It's also important for the will of God to upgrade him or herself. That must be upgrading. You must equip yourself, you must study. You must go for counseling. It's important. If you are dependent on what you know about 10 years ago, 20 years ago, it's not sufficient. You must keep on knowing new things. Learning. So you for compatible, uh, compatibility scale, you need to understand the spiritual scale. The spiritual scale will help you to weigh your spiritual interests. It is extremely difficult for a Christian sister to marry an unbeliever under the presence of I will convert him. It's happening in the church today, can a Christian sister, you are born again. And the one coming to you is an unbeliever. And you say, what I tell you is that you are going to convert that brother, you are fooling yourself. He did want to convert you at the end. Praise the Lord. Because your husband is going to be your Lord. That man when you get married to him because what? Your Lord. Lord means you must reverence him. You must respect him. And that's why you, you must ask yourself, are you compatible spiritually? Imagine from Sunday school, children church, uh, crusaders, youth, at the end, you ended up marrying an unbeliever. I mean, don't follow that kind of. 
image that I'm going to convert the man or you are going to convert the woman. You are not Jesus Christ. Only Jesus Christ can what? Can convert. Praise the Lord. I, I know in science, anytime a negative charge joins a positive charge, what happens? What do you have? Is it a spark? There's a flow. There's flow. That's in wire. When I talk of uh, wire now. But let me now make it simpler so that I understand what I'm saying. In mathematics, now I'm a mathematician. When you have positive joined with negative, what do you have at the end? Negative. If negative also go and join positive, what do you have? The one that is born again is positive. The one that is not born again is what? Is negative. So any time, in most cases, when positive aligns with negative, what will all happen? It will just fall down. So please, it's very, very important. Understand the spiritual skill. Whether we are compatible or not. That was what happened to King Ahab. If you study about very, very well, King Ahab is very, very spiritual. He has a good heart. The Bible recorded that when Ahab wanted to marry, he went to marry who? Who was his wife? Who is the father of Jezebel? Ah. <laughs> Jezebel is a princess. So the priest of Baal. The daughter of the priest of Baal. So a king, the king left all the virgin in Israel and fell in love with Jezebel. You know the hands. So anytime positive decided to go along with negative, the two of them go, go down. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So the second scale is the social skill. Now he was asked to say, if your partner has a social book's personality, you better adjust to that lifestyle. These are some men that love their women, you know, keep you very smart, rosy. The man is going outside, loves to go out, is very sociable. And let me tell you, being sociable does not make you a sinner. And that's the truth. Being sociable doesn't make you a sinner. I'm not talking of O and there. Praise the Lord. So for people that love sightseeing, they love going for programs. It it helps their thinking, their ideology. It it keeps them going. But you are the one that anytime the man is asking you to go out, you don't have time. You are the own maid, own breed. There are going to be a problem in the future. Make sure you are compatible socially. That if the man push and suit you so you can stand any day, any time. But if you are the own type and you are going along with a brother that's always the outgoing type, that's going to be a problem. So let's let's do that. Then also the career scale. I just mentioned this three, the career scale. Now that's why you have to understand who you are and what you want to be in the future. And the person you are getting married to must also carry the same vision. It's very, very important. If you are going to be a career woman, and that's your desire, your husband too must be a career man. Then you have to marry together. You must discuss all these things in details. You must discuss the impact of your personal vision on the home, on the children, on some other factors. Because if you get married and you are a career woman, there will be a problem in the home if not discussed. You want to see your career. And now we say, what about the children? 
<laughs> Praise the Lord. What about the children? Who will take care of them? Eventually, the woman does forget about her career and she's not happy. She's never happy. And these are the things you have to look into before you get married. You must discuss together and find out how we can work together. And if you understand that this man, his own vision, is the vision he got from his mother. His mother was a housewife to the father all through her life. And the same vision, he wanted another woman who is going to, going to be what? A what? A housewife. I can tell you there will be a problem in that home. 